That's how one victim describes what happened to her, and she's a tech savvy 20 something who was nearly taken for all of her money. Fox 5 I teams Dana Fowl has her story, and it's something we really need to hear, Dana. It really is, and I'm so glad this lady reached out to us. She is a careful young woman for all intents and purposes, though. She left her checking account wide open. And in the broad daylight, surrounded by people, someone tried to swoop in and take it. He was, like, sitting over here on these steps when he, like, walked up to me and then I was sitting in my car right over there on this very street near Atlantic Station. Carly Miller was visiting friends. It was daylight around five o'clock. A man approached my like driver's seat window and he was asking me if he could borrow my phone. He said he was locked out of the apartment that he did preface it with. Don't worry. I'm not a bad guy, but she was smart enough to not hand over her phone. Instead, she dialed the number for him and put it on speaker. He said something like I'm outside, can you let me in? And she mumbled something and was like, ah, text this person instead. She had a decision to make but now. Does she just hand him the phone? Again, it was daylight, the street was busy, people were walking their dogs. It didn't feel like anything was gonna happen. I wasn't like worried or hesitant. I was just like, sure, of course. About a minute later, he handed back the phone. He handed it back to me and was like, if anyone responds, tell them I'm outside waiting by the brick. Right here on the wall by the door. And there he sat when she pulled off. So I just like turned my music on. I'm pretty sure it was like Taylor Swift. I blasted that and I drove home <laughs> and I was like, life is good. I was helping out this person. But in this police report she later filed with Atlanta police, she said she got home and received an email from her bank. Someone had attempted a $4,200 charge to her Venmo account at 5 p.m. And immediately I realized what had happened. And so <sighs> I was like, <sighs> oh my gosh, panicked. Called my dad first because, I mean, I was like, you know, I call my dad for everything. The police report shows this whole event logged on her smartphone took no more than four minutes. Quickly, she canceled her cards associated with her checking account and changed her passwords. And then I went into Venmo, and as soon as I opened Venmo, I was like, ah, oh. like it all clicked. I was like, there's no password on this app. Like you can just open the app, click pay a request, put any number in the world, any amount in the world. In settings, Venmo does have security features like facial recognition and a pin, but it's not there by default. You need to add this layer of protection yourself. As with any app connected to your financial accounts, make sure it's locked, even double locked. The Fox 5 I team called the two numbers used in this scam. When I identified myself, the woman and the male, well, they both hung up on me. In the end, Carly was lucky. She simply didn't have that much money sitting in her checking account, so the would-be thief got nothing, and she learned a lesson. I didn't know really how to describe it to my family. I was like, hey, I got, like, cyber mugged. <laughs> And that's exactly what happened. She got cyber mobbed and, and these payment apps, this goes to all of them. I mean, there's Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, whatever you are using, make sure these things are locked up because we all use them. They're so convenient these days. You pay the babysitter, the yard man, the coach, you know, the music teacher. I use mine all of the time. And I also realized Mine was wide open as well, Elise. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I realized the same thing the first time that, that we, we talked about this story, Dana. So I fixed mine and I, like you, I use it all the time, but it's like in your head, if your phone is locked, then you just kind of think that everything's protected, but it's not the case. Right, and you're standing right there and you hand them the phone and you think, what could go wrong? I'm right here. They're cl clearly not running off with it, but what you did was hand them an mm. open checking account. Ooh. The good thing is it takes about two yeah. seconds to go in and, and protect this year account. So it's it's worth taking a look at, right? <laughs>